Hello guys, this is Tide Eye again for the third video in the series. Um, we're gonna talk about healers in this one. Um, just a preface real quick. We ask politely that you watch all three videos due to their difference in knowledge, and so you have a deeper understanding of the game as a whole and can understand what your teammates are doing. And so you aren't like this like toxic DPS player like, why are my healers healing? Oh my god, that's their only job. That's all they're good for. Yeah, it makes sense. Mars hand um, looks so gross. <laughs> anyways, uh, hey guys, I'm Eton. I'm one of the coaches for the academy team, and uh, like Teddy said, we're talking about supports in this video. So first, I want to talk about what is a support. <clears throat> the support category in Overwatch, um, is a category that provides healing and utility to the team to help them do what they need to get done. Um. So, like, what I mean by that is, uh, their healing outputs, they keep the team alive, um, they, fuck, dude, what is the fuck? They also tend to have a good amount of utility, like Ana's sleep dart, or her biotic grenade, exactly. or Zen's orb of discord. Yes, so, that's what I supported, is a character that has a heal, a heal, and utility. I don't want to say that. Well, I do want to say that because technically you could see Soldier being a support because he drops Biotic Field for his team. He could drop Biotic Field for his team. So he could technically be supporting his team, which would put him in the support category. But the diff what's the difference between Soldier and fucking healers? Okay, so early on in Overwatch, support were characters with utility and heals. Sim was a support. What's Sombra? I don't think she was. Washington? No, Summer was, I think it, was just, it might have just been Sim. It was Sim, Sim was a support that didn't have heal. And it was because she had her teleporter and the shield now generator. gone shield generator. They changed it to support. They changed her to damage from support due to the fact that... Well, I guess the commonality between all supports is they heal, right? They support your I, team. I figured it out. The difference what between soldier... The difference between characters that can heal themselves or their teammates... And supports is that supports provide a consistent amount of healing to the team. There you go. And throughout the match, and they're able to, they're able to um, help the team, you know, do what they need to get done. Whatever I said. Um. So th that's because, like, all supports. Yes. Basically, what? have healing as their primary fire. Like on a. By the way, this is gonna be a messy video. Just putting it out there because support is definitely my weakest. Role and I think it's probably Titty's biggest role as well. Um, yeah, but we are we will try our I best. I play mo way more support than Eaton, but yes. yeah, you gotta just deal with us. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, so that's that's the difference between a support and a character that is able to heal their teammates. It, it's not just about healing. It's a, I mean, it is kind of just about healing, but it's more than that. It's that they're able to provide consistent healing. Their healing is, it's not, it's not on a cooldown. It's usually their primary fire is able to heal. Like Ana's shoot, uh, Moria's spray, um, Bap's little nades, uh, Mercy's beam, you know, things like that. It's, it can provide consistent healing without being on a cooldown. Um, anyways, why it's important to have supports? This might seem like a stupid question, a stupid, yeah, stupid question. But it's because if you don't have supports, you're going to die. And that does sound stupid. But it's important to have supports because they, they allow you to keep going throughout a team fight. They sustain you through a team fight. Um, you have anything? They also like help set up things. So say you know you're engaging, you're playing the game, you got your Ana, you got Mo your Moira. Um, we're going in the team fight, and our Ryan's taking the space, you know, like he's do supposed to. And then their Ryan goes for a fire strike. Eaton, being his big brain, 600 IQ, sleeps the Rhine, and we can in collapse upon the Rhine and kill him, so their team doesn't have him and can't really take space. So that's eventually causing us to win the team fight. Yeah, so that's why supports are important, because if you didn't have them, you would die. That's just kind of straight up. And they, they provide certain things that other roles do not provide. Um, or they provide more than, other role, than the other roles could provide. Um, the third thing is uh, 
Why positioning on supports is probably more important than positioning on DPS 100% and why positioning on tanks or why it's more important than positioning on tanks as well because um because honestly as a tank you can you can com do can I speak you can position yourself relatively um relatively you can well put yourself in an advantageous advantageous spot for you and your team yes. so we're on an lucio here right eaton wants to be up here because he has sight lines on where our team would be and he can heal them from afar which is what ana wants lucio who i am does not want to be here because he cannot heal a team with his aoe healing so i want to be up here with the team while ana wants to hang back from afar and, like, other characters have other roles. Like, I'll explain a couple more real quick once I get back to this one. And that's why positioning on supports is very important. Because, one, they if they get picked, they can change the course of the fight very quickly to the enemy's favor or your favor. And, two, um, they all have different ways of healing and providing utility. So, like he said, like, Lucio, if Lucio was up there with his Ana, there's, there's only Ana heals coming to the team. And, but Lucio wants to play with his team, and Ana wants to play afar, just like you said. And Dap wants to play also, like, where Ana would, like, from afar, because his heal is ranged, and he can, excuse me, throw immortality at, with a better sightline and visual, so he's not, like, on the team. Yep. Um, you can also, like, see, like, people flanking, so say there's a Reaper going around, you, you will be able to see that if you're playing, like, Dap or Ana. Yes. Which is very important information for your team to know. And that's why positioning on supports is very important. Because of the way they heal and the way they provide um, utility to their team. Um, now, there are two different kinds of healers. There's things called main healers and there's things called off healers. And I'll get into main And this is a very, healers. very, very weird line. We've yes. <laughs> asked other people about it. And this line seems to be like as fine of a line as you can think of. <laughs> Yeah, so, are you, you're doing main heal first? Uh, yeah, I'll do main heals. So, more or less, the two main heal there are two main healers in this game. It is Bap and Moira. And m one of the reasons these two are main healers is they just have such a large healing output. Like, Bap has his na like healing nades, and he also has his regen ability that does just passive regen for everyone. And, um... Like, this helps sustain teams more than, like, an Ana, because Ana has single target heals that, you know, really are, you have to hit your shots, and they aren't as, like, team-wide. And with Mora, she has her orbs. Please use healing orbs. Um, <laughs> and, uh, so with Mora... Only during I'll the fight. At the start of the fight, you can target her orbs. I, I, I've played Mora a good amount. So with Mora, you want to orb before the fight, because that gives you a good amount of ultra. It gives you 10%, actually. And then while you're in the team fight, you want to heal and you want to use your healing orb to help sustain your team. And also, if you get run out of healing um, juice juices, um, you can uh, actually spam your primary fire, and that does get it back very, very quickly, as opposed to just holding it down and like sucking this on a dry. Exactly. You you get more heals by tapping the attack button on more uh, than holding it down. I think there's a different version or another better way to do it but that's only on pc don't use mouse and cube where it's cheating on console exactly um so yeah also ana can is a is actually a main healer on pc but that's because mechanical aim on pc is much better than console so on console we classify her as a off healer um but the off yeah. healers in this game there's actually quite a lot there's lucio ana zen zen mercy brig. and brig that's it right yeah yes um and the thing that and the reason why they're an off healer and not a main healer is because they provide less heals to the team and even though ana has i think the highest healing output in the game is at 70 um it did go up to no it went down didn't it? it went down it went down it's 70 now um okay. even though she does that doesn't make her a uh main healer at least for console on uh, but like i said on pc she is a main healer I, and her nade helps her heal even more. It, it's yes. act, it's but off healers provide more utility to the team than healing. So like Lucio, he has a speed boost, which makes your team move faster, which is a very valuable utility. 
Zen has a Discord orb that when put onto an enemy, uh, they take 30% more increased damage. With this new bu buff coming up, I'm pretty sure it's going to go live. Um, also, uh, Brig has her stun, her whip shot. Um, let me think. Uh, Mercy has damage boost and res. And also, I, I've talked to some support players, and they say that uh, Mercy, Ana, and Lucio could also be, they're kind of in a middle spot where they're kind of both uh, main heal and off heal. But usually they're, they're like used in heal. off heal. Yeah, they're like, they have a lot of healing and utility, but there's really no category like, for that right now. Yeah. While Lucio has only 15 heals per second, that's actually what it is, by the way. I learned that recently. Me too. Um, he can amp it, and it goes... It multiplies by three, so it goes to forty-five instead, is which it 45? is insane. It's forty-five. I, think I thought it was thirty-five. Yeah. It might be. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's forty-five. I don't know. It, it's a very, it's a much larger number. And you have to keep in mind, Lucio has an AOE, an area of effect, which heals like everything in that area. So in if you're radius. on your whole team, you're healing them all. Yeah. At it's a pretty large radius too. Um. Yeah. But yeah, so you that's the, the difference radius. between main heals and off heals. Main heals provide more healing and less defensive or utility to the team. And um, off healers provide more defensive abilities and more utility to the team and less heals. Um, we should anyway. get into support ults versus non-support ults as well. That is a very important healer concept. Um, okay, yeah, you can go into it. Okay, so with healers, they have their alts are different. So, Zen over here has Transcendence, which is his ult, um, gives, what is it, 300 healing per second. Yes. It's basically very, very hard to die when he trans, uses Tran. While Bath has Amplification, um, what's it called? Uh, the, 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 the wind. Okay, I wasn't sure. I thought it was, like, defense, mixing up Defense Matrix. So he's Amplification Matrix, which doubles damage and heals going through it. So, Zen's ult is made for... Sustaining an enemy through, say, Grav Dragon, or as long as well as Immortality. While more result, will, your team is going to die, regardless of how much healing you do. It, it's just a given. So, or also with like Lucio Beat, it can protect you from a lot, but not everything. Yeah. With Grav Dragon, Zen will keep your team alive. Lucio, if done right, will not. If the team enemy team team does it right will not keep you alive um yeah and one other thing i wanted to talk about is when you're playing the off healer role i want to talk about when it's appropriate to switch from heals to damage and i mean this is it's not really that hard of a concept um at least it doesn't seem like it is but as off healer most of the off healers can heal by not like focusing on healing like Zen can throw his orb like this and then just do damage um, This is mostly for Ana players when to switch to healing In my opinion, I haven't asked um, Healers in general, but in my opinion, I would say to switch to heals it um, like Healing your team as Ana uh, Is when they when the fight starts and during throughout the mid fight your main healer can uh, heal the team and you can start doing some damage or go for a play or something. Um, but yeah, usually in the off healer role, you don't really have to focus on healing. Your healing will just happen. Uh, is there an exception? I don't really know. Um, Brig, you kind of have to focus. Uh, and Mercy. Yeah, and Mercy. And Mercy, you kind of have to focus. Mercy. You have to know the difference between when the damage boost and when the heal. Yes. And pocket your DPS. That's all I gotta say. You don't have to pocket it. It's okay, very right. helpful. Like, it, it's very <laughs> useful to damage boost your DPS. Or even your Reinhardt, like honestly. Like Soldier and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, we're going off on a little bit of tangent. Anyways. Is that it for supports? If we missed anything, we'll be adding a uh, uh, part two to any of these videos. Um, thank you guys for watching them. and you know. Oh, if you have any questions, please ask. Like, you can yes. DM me or Eaton. You can message anyone else. That, you can go into the uh, academy, academy chat or... and just at people. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, make sure to ask. Um, coaches, please, I mean, if you have any feedback for us, please do give that as well. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching the video, and uh, see you guys later.